Do you ever guess what spacing value you should use in your web design or in your apps? Do you know how much spacing you should use between the heading and the text? How much padding you should have around the card? Should it be 9 pixels, 12 pixels? Can take a lot of time and thinking. Hey YouTube, I'm Roy, a UI designer based in the UK. Why is a spacing system important? It's just simply to keep things consistent and you won't have to think what values to use so your team or developers you know that you have a certain spacing system there are two popular spacing systems there is the four point grid or the eight point grid and as a reference the one that i like to use is from tailwind and also this file will be available in the figma community so you can download they actually got the size in rems and pixels and this is very very useful so this is something that you and the team can use copy this resource so command C, go into your spacing system and then just paste that and you practically already have a spacing system to use. How do you then communicate these spacing values to a developer when you hand off your designs? We're going to create some very simple spaces so you can actually show the spacing when you hand off to developers. We're going to hit the T tool, we're going to click, we're going to type 16 and what we're going to do is we're going to make this quite small. So 12 points into regular and a line height of 12. So it's going to be solid. And we are going to turn this into an auto layout. So shift A. We're going to get rid of all the spacing. 0, 0. We're going to give it a fixed width and a fixed height of 16 and 16. And if we hit enter to go into the text layer, it's got hug and hug. Okay, great. And we go back to the frame we just want to center a line uh, we're going to give this a very simple color and let's say we go in let's say we go slightly red or pink okay great so we've done our very first spacing block and what we're going to do just as a reference we're going to duplicate that we're going to call this our dot base space and it's good practice to create a, a, a base component or a base that you're going to use for all the other components, which I'll demonstrate. What we're going to do is Command D again. We're going to make this into a component. So Command Alt K. We are going to duplicate that. Hold Shift, drag that out. So this is the journey from creating a very simple uh, block. And then we're creating, we're doing a naming space base. We made it into component. And then now, we just done an instance of that and then we can wrap this in a new component. So command alt and K. We're going to call this space. And then we're going to create a variant. So hit the plus and this new variant, we're going to go up to 24. And then we're just going to keep going. So let's say 32. Let's say 40. And then the last one, I'm going to just going to jump up to 80 just to save some time. Okay, so here I'm going to go in, say 24, I'm going to go in here, say 32, and then 40, and then 80. Oop. And then what I want to do is to go into each one and actually change the width and height. So press enter, that will take you to the next layer down, and this should be 24 and 24. Okay, so things are looking quite messy. So what we can do very quickly is hit Shift A to put this into an auto layout. And let's say spacing is 16. <laughs> okay. And we can get rid of, well, yeah, let's put a spacing around of, let's say 40. So now we've got a very nicely organized spacing system. And the nice thing again about having a base component is rather than making a change to all of these, you can go in here and say, hey, I actually want this to be, I want this to be lime, right? You could do it like that and it does it for all of them rather than you having to go into each one. If you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button. So here is a component and this is a card which has a heading, text, button, an avatar and a testimonial. So if we go in, if a developer had to look at the spacing values, they'd have to go in 
and have to say, oh, okay, so there's a spacing of 40, uh, and then if I go into this, there's a spacing of 16, if I go into this, there's a spacing of 16, if I go into this card, all around there's a spacing of 80, right? There's a quite a lot of work for them. We can visually show this, and this could be part of the documentation when you hand over. So if I hit Shift I, I look for space, and I'm going to get this very first one. And that will put it right into the auto layout. However, it's affecting the auto layout. And we don't want it to do that. So I'm just going to click and bring it out. Now the magic is I'm going to actually go up to the very first one. I'm going to say 80. And if I just make a quick change, if I go right click, go to main component, the default one, let's say that is 16. And then we go back to the example. So here what I want to do is I want to bring this over here. Now, if you just click and drag, it's going to affect the layout. But what you have to do is you have to click, drag, and then hit, hold down the space bar. Bring it over and you can see here it's not affecting the layout. It doesn't snap, but it's not affecting the layout, which is great. So you can just drop that in. And you can see on your layers, it's just put it on top of that frame. So the next thing to do is, okay, so I'm going to bring in some more. So shift I space. So the next one to bring in, just click that brought it in there. So I'm going to duplicate that a couple of times. And I'm going to say, okay, we actually now want the spacing of 40. I'm going to click, hold down space. And I know the spacing between these is 40. Do the same thing for this. Now, how can you actually see that these are lining up? Well, you can go here and you can see right there. If I zoom in, you can see this line. I actually have to go up two spaces. And this is where it gets very precise. So if I click here, you can see the line is perfect. I click there, the line is perfect. If I zoom in again, so this one should go down two lines. So one, two. So those are lining up nicely. This one as well, if I go in, you can see they're right on the edge. If I click on this text layer, you can see they're right on the edge. But that is pretty cool. Okay, so another nice thing to do is if I just delete that one. So here you can see these spaces and we can we can show them lining up even more by creating a grid, but you can't do this in a auto layout. You need to do it within a frame. We're going to get these full space and I'm not sure why they're outside the frame, but we're going to just drag it in. What we're going to do is we're going to make this into a frame. So select all right click frame selection. We're going to go to layout grid. And here currently it's an eight point grid. So even that is going to quickly show here that's lining up. This is lining up. This is lining up. Four point grid. If I just change that to four. Now we go in and you can see that this is lining up nicely. Of course, if you don't want to show the values, you can just we can just go into the frame. We can hide that. And also in order to hide these, we need to hide the main base. So if I right click, go to main component, I'm going to say we actually want to hide it. So if I hide it like that, it doesn't work. So you have to go to 0% and it's hidden it. So now if I go back to the example, you can see here it is hidden all the spacing values that we put in. Let me know in the comments what you think about a spacing system. And this has just saved me so much time. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell.